What's up guys? Today for All Star Tools, Mr. Joe's got some super awesome stuff and something I've been waiting for a mm, couple weeks for to come in. So pretty cool tools. You guys come take a look, check it out. <music> Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Well, we're gonna do Commando Joe today. See, we're ready. It's this, we're ready. It's a cricket, comes with the belt holster, comes with an extra um, compartment. You wanna put your favorite uh, knife sharpener in there. The uh, Rambo Joe. Well, you know, I make sure I'm more careful putting it in than taking out because it hurts when I insert it through my leg. Hey, you start sewing your own self up with some fishing line, I'm going to have to leave. That's tougher than I can handle right there. I got that one up front on the front seat. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to hit some sight mark stuff today. Um, we're going to get tools. The only reason why Clay waited uh, an extra week was I ordered the wrong ones. But he set me right on that. Um, so, sight mark. Mm -hmm. We sell the rails. These are just actually a Firefield one. Um, is it uh, 120 bucks for the rail, which is good price. Now, this here is a light, an infrared light, and laser. And uh, you kind of see the green laser here. Yeah. Now, it's a low pro, so if you got a scope set up on your rifle, this will not interfere. You can yeah. have it right in front doesn't uh, barge but it gives you a light for mm -hmm. a night time or it gives you an IR night light if you're using uh, uh, night vision that's cool it is these are uh, I thought it was 230 as here is a reflex sight kind of like an EOT yes so you can, oh, yeah, you see, can through see it in there. but this here one has very cool sunshade feature right and then this here is the magnifier i don't know if we can oh yeah she'll pick it up let me see if i can get it at the right yeah, sort of you can see the holographic side through it there. okay so how much is make the sure, magnifier make sure i turn everything off you gotta give everybody we're, process we're at uh, 330 220 Okay. This here is a scope, uh, scout scope. Mm -hmm. Now, a scout scope is made to fit in front of the action. Um, Jeff Cooper, famous uh, scout rifle. So this fits up, gives you extra long eye relief, kind of like a pistol eye relief. Um, these are 447. Okay. But it's a three, two, that's a two by seven. Oh, there I am, not knowing what it is. Two by seven by uh, 40. Okay. So, it's a scout scope. Right. Now this here is a one inch forward mounted mount. It's a sight mark, it's solid, heavy duty, one piece, one piece steel. Okay. I didn't have this one on my in my computer, so. Um, I'm only going to be guessing on price, so I'm not going to do that. Call me if you're interested. I'll make sure I have that. This here is a little mini shot. Okay. This here. Sounds like a baby EOT. This here is for on a pistol. Okay. No, you, you know, nice and cool. It's got the, the shade on it. And these here are 140. Okay. This is a barge scope. It's a tuna. Wait a minute. Like a barge scope, like somebody's gonna shoot a barge. Is that what you're talking about? Barrage. I'm not pronouncing it right. I don't know how to speak. <laughs> there we go. I'm just messing with you. Yeah, that's fine. Like somebody, you know, some redneck will buy that and be shooting at boats going down the river now. <laughs> you can't be doing that. We gotta we gotta we, be real clear what that's for. We can dial in. There okay. you go. You got a two and a half by ten. 40 millimeter at short compact and you got a blazer hmm. 
and so you can turn the laser on. Mm -hmm. So once you have the scope sighted in, you line the laser up to the scope, and whether you're using the scope part or not able to see it, you are dialed in. There you go. 220 bucks. 220. That way you can go sheep barges. Barges. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I got people to ride on work on the river. Uh -huh. we have yeah. Shows how good of fans they are of yours. You trying to <laughs> after, sell something? After to get today, shot, it won't be. <laughs> Binoculars. Very clear, very good glass. Incredible um, clarity. This is where they really shine through. This is a 10 by 42, but we're talking 500 bucks. It's up there. Are they clear but enough to see the future? You're, you're good. Clear enough to see the future? Like you said, um, the weather's going to do tomorrow, well, right? If you're looking in the right direction. Well, we can go ahead this here, here is a IR laser. Okay. So it's infrared laser. It is set up for if you got the night vision. Now what that does is it could be on right now. We wouldn't see unless we're using night vision goggles. Right. And we're going to do a thing for just night vision and thermal coming up where you'll be able to we'll, we'll set up where you can see this. It's very cool. Okay. But... Um, now this one here is my prize baby. Chrome. Chrome gets you home. That's a 10 year anniversary. But if you look here, this is number five of a hundred. Right. So the batteries never get turned on. It's always here as my showpiece. People grab it, they look, turn it on, they say, you're not gonna be able to turn it on. They go, why? I go, look, it's number five of a hundred. It's not going on. Now, we talk about the commando. We have, this is a Pulsar, it's a tactical pin, so I can, you turn the pin on, mm -hmm. I can break windows, somebody's not listening, you know, it's McFly, it pounds great knots on people's heads. So, yes, tactical pin. So how much a tactical pin comes? Uh, well, you know what you do is you buy something from me. You pretty many, pretty much everybody gets something free from me. <laughs> so, tactical pins are in. I go. know most people sell them 20, 25 bucks. We're gonna shine over here on the bucket of cash here. Yeah, I got you guys are good. You guys are gonna get used to this. Clay Coon. We, we got one of them bad boys up here. Joe gets all of my money. He gets all of my money. We have here uh, Mr. John from uh, Mr. John from New York. Mm -hmm. We have one, two, three, four, five going in the bucket of cash. Ooh. The first time he got in there, he says, I like that. What kind of charity is that going to? I says, well, if we picked the right one, it'd be the charity of John. Cord of John. Hmm. So uh, he thought that was kind of cool. He says, nobody gives away their own money. That's what happens when you hand Mr. Joe a long wheelbase tan. You go in the bucket. I like them long wheelbase tans, don't we, you? We do. They, they don't last once you break them, though. They're gone. Quick. And then we got uh, Mr. Wesley out of uh, South Carolina. So we got uh, three for him. Wow. So you guys been keeping me busy. Well, I know you got 900 in cash this week uh, already, Liam. <laughs> I, I want to thank you guys all for that. You're going in the bucket. Actually, uh, Mr. Wesley and John, we did this on Friday, and I didn't tell them. I just thought I'd throw this in here. There you go. Now, let's get to Mr. Clay. Yeah, this must We have, have a set of dual sockets. Let me get that part number. One eight one six three five M R D. They go from seven millimeter to twenty two. Yes, they are thin wall. Look how good that is, guys. Nice and thin. And they're made for impact. I saw one of my other customers earlier. Now, this is stuff's new for me, but he said he's had a set of these for over five years, hasn't tore one up yet. And I know he's hard on his stuff. He says, he says, Joe, I know I'm hard on my stuff. Oh, 
I've had mine for probably 14, 15 years. And he ain't broke one yet. <laughs> So oh, that tells you. That, that tells you something. They are when good Bill tools. When Bill said, I've had mine that long and ain't broke, I was like, shit, we're going to have some in. Like my kids will be able to give them to their kids. Tell them they're going to use ratchet with mine. It's a 35 inch, 35 piece set mm -hmm. on sale for 211 You're looking at something, Wally. Yeah. We got a wrench is. here. It's bent, but. It's push button locking. It's a gear wrench. And here's a part number for it. There is a set of them. But I didn't get time to look this up while he says, I want this. And uh, somebody over here said, you want the whole set. But we'll, I'll get a whole set in. We'll look at these right. and pricing then. But it locks in place. So you got, you need to get in somewhere in the corner somewhere or an angle at something. Sometimes I can lock this. You lock it in and you can ratchet. That's cool right there. So, yes. That's Pretty worth cool. his weight in gold. That is it. Um, I was going to show you something in my toolbox trailer, but uh, it had a mishap. But it will be fixed and we'll have that going and something to look forward to next week. Thank you, everybody, for everything. And anything else you need? Oh, yeah, to fill in uh, New Jersey. I do handle redback boots. So There you go. There you go. We Those got you matching. Boots are oh, fine. oh, wait. There's one more thing. We had so much fun with picking a business card for me, an A1. But when you looked at the comments, the very first person put in a comment. Uh, he says, man, he says, I own a printing company. We'll, we'll set you up something. We'll send you some stuff and take a look. And so we did call him up. He sent like five examples within a couple of days, and they were all very good. Mr. Allen, thank you. Appreciate it. So, guys, I hope you had fun voting because we're going to do another vote. We're going to throw a couple of his. T Clay and I picked out a couple top picks. We're going to throw it against a winner uh, from last week. And we're going to do another vote off. Um, I hope you had fun. I had fun just trying to tally up everybody's. But there were like 61 for A yeah. as far as votes. And then my good friends Kevin and Christy, they're going to probably call you Clay later up in Michigan. They couldn't vote. They tried getting on like three times. I'm like, hey, guys, get on, vote. And they're like, we can't. <laughs> so a little technical bit difficulty pushing a button. So, um have fun with it again. I love reading all the comments. And do you see this hat here? I get asked by so many people, hey, get me one of these hats. You know what? Clay sells these. Not those. Not these? Mm -mm. Oh, forget it. No. Don't sure happen. Don't, don't happen. <laughs> sure but, don't. But I was going to put the plug in there. Well, you know, we don't sell Don't, don't ask Clay for them free because nobody gives them to him. He buys the hats, he designs them. We paid them. way too much for them when we ordered them. That's why so, we only got five. So, oh, well, then I'm very fortunate. <laughs> That's right. um, we'll talk about that another time. We'll find something. But uh, he does go out of his way for you guys. Uh, I hope you all appreciate him as much as I do. So, do you want to do the voting on this video? And this video? Okay. So, we're only going to show them one time so people don't confuse A and B or C and yep. A. And, um, so, we'll put it at the end of this video. Yep. We'll do A, B, C, and D, I guess. Yeah. And then you guys can Pick, check it out. You're, you're going to be amazed at how good these are that he, that he came up with. I mean, I, I loved every one of them. I would have picked any one of them, but no, I wouldn't do that. We have fun doing this. <laughs> Speaking of this, I got a Milwaukee battery powered chainsaw. Yep. So last Friday, I'm getting close to home. There's no cell service eight miles from my home. I get down to in the Snake Drive after we come down off of Turkey Drop and there's a tree down. I'm in a big old tree in the middle of the road. It's down, it's blocking everything. I'm like, I can try to back up a mile and a half, pull my toolbox showroom I'm going, that ain't happening, because one of the last things is a 90 degree turn on a bridge. Or I walk another mile, something, get home, get my chainsaw, because I own these things. I don't just say, hey, I use this stuff. I have it. Mm -hmm. So I go home, 
get home, tell my wife, says, we got to go. She says, I didn't hear you pull up. I go, no, my little two feet were a little bit quieter than my truck. And uh, told her what we had to do, so I says, we got to go. It was getting dark. It was dark. But this chainsaw, she says, oh, I says, we got to get a chainsaw. Cut. She says, your chainsaw don't work. I says, no, my gas one don't work. I says, I threw that away, remember? I got a battery one. We go out there, all I had to do was battery, hit a button, quiet. My gas one, I'd be wearing, you know, taking my ear, hearing aids out, putting earplugs in, didn't need to do that at all. Hit the button, <laughs> pull stuff out. And you see, uh, if we can put this video link on there, they work, they're incredible yeah. tools. So again, thank you, have a great week, and uh, we'll see what we can do more for next week. All right, guys, we'll put the Mr. Joe's video in there. And at the very end, we'll show you guys the business card. So y'all be sure to vote on which one you like. Like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Why, Wally? Because it don't cost you nothing. It's totally free. Don't, don't cost you a dime. Everybody knows that. It's free. That's right. Click that button, guys. Y'all have a great one. Click. Catch you next time. Stop. Coming home, and the street was across this road. Milwaukee 18 volt chainsaw. Luckily, I had one of them with me.